Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about adding decimals. We have a problem here. Therese was tasked by her mom to buy items from the grocery store. Find out how much will she pay for them all. The items are the following. 2 kilos of sugar, that's 125 pesos and 50 centavos. 1 kilo of flour, that's 45 pesos and 75 centavos. 1 pack of candies, that's 56 pesos and 35 centavos. And lastly, we have 3 cans of sardines, that's 48 pesos. The question now is, how do we add decimals? Any idea? I think your idea is correct. All we need to do is to align the decimal points, then we can add the way we add whole numbers. Now, let's write 125 and 50 centavos. This time, we'll just add two numbers or two decimals. We'll add 125 pesos and 50 centavos and 45 pesos and 75 centavos. 0 plus 5, that's 5. 7 plus 5, that's 12. Write 2, carry 1 at the top of 5. Don't forget your decimal point. That's very important. Then 5 plus 5 is equal to 10 plus 1, that's 11. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 1, that's 7. Then bring down 1. This time, we may write 171 pesos and 25 centavos. We'll add it to 56 pesos and 35 centavos. We're ready to go. 5 plus 5 is equal to 10. Care, write 0 here. Carry 1 at the top of 2. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. Don't forget your decimal point. 6 plus 1 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Now, we're ready to write 227 and 60 centavos here. We'll add it to 48 pesos. 0 plus 0 is 0. 6 plus 0 is 6, decimal point, 7 plus 8 is equal to 15, write 5 here, carry 1 at the top of 2. 2 plus 4 is equal to 6 plus 1 is 7, bring down 2. That makes 275 pesos and 60 centavos. That is our final answer. It means Therese bought a total of 275 pesos and 60 centavos. And that's it. Let us now have some exercises. Let's find the sum of the following decimals. The first one is 34 and 76 hundredths plus 987 thousandths. The first thing that we should do is to rewrite these decimals. That's 34 and 76 hundredths added to 987 thousandths. If you notice, our given has a locking number there. We may write or affix zero so that it's easier for us to solve this problem. Now we're ready to add. 0 plus 7 is equal to 7. 6 plus 8 is equal to 14. Write 4 here. Carry 1 at the top of 7. 7 plus 1 is equal to 8. 8 plus 9 is equal to 17. We may write 7 here. Carry 1 at the top of 4. Don't forget your decimal point. 1 plus 4 is equal to 5. Then bring down 3. And we have the answer. Our final answer is 35 and 747 thousandths. And that's it. We have another problem here. We will add 9 and 756 thousandths to 120 and 512 thousandths. Let's rewrite these decimals. It is important their decimal points are aligned before we will add. And we're ready. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8, 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, 7 plus 5 is equal to 12, write 2 here, carry 1 at the top of 9. Decimal point, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, write 0 here, carry 1 at the top of 2. 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, bring down 1. Our final answer is 130 and 268 thousandths. Since we have three decimals here and we have limited space, we will add first two decimals. 
Let's rewrite first two and three thousands and twelve hundredths. And we're ready to, uh, but be sure to align the decimal points. And of course, we can affix zero for the empty spaces. Now we'll start. 3 plus 0 is equal to 3. 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1, our decimal point. And then 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. Next, we're ready to add this to 62 and 98 hundredths. Let's rewrite them first. 2 and 123 thousandths added to 62 and 98 hundredths. We may also affix zeros to the empty spaces so it's easy for us to add numbers. We're ready. 0 plus 3 is equal to 3. 2 plus 8 is equal to 10. Carry 1 at the top of 1. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10 plus 1 is 11. Then carry 1 at the top of 2. Don't forget our decimal point. Then we can add 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Bring down 6. Our final answer for this is 65 and 100. Three thousandths, and that's it. Since we have a limited space in here, so we may add first the first two decimals. That's 892 thousandths and 1 and 2 tenths. Let's rewrite them first. And of course, don't forget to affix zeros for those empty spaces. And we're ready to add. 2 plus 0 is equal to 2. 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. 8 plus 2 is 10. Carry 1 at the top of 0. Don't forget your decimal point. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And now we're ready to add this 1 to 3 thousandths. Let's rewrite them first. We're ready to add. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. 9 plus 0 is equal to 9. 0 plus 0 is 0, our decimal point, And 2 plus 0 is 2. We're ready to add this one to 21 and 91 hundredths. Let's rewrite them first. 2 and 95 thousandths added to 21 and 91 hundredths. Let's affix 0 for the empty spaces so it's easy for us to add. Now we're ready. 5 plus 0 is 5, 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, carry 1 at the top of 0. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10, carry 1 at the top of 2. Our decimal point, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. Then bring down 2. Our final answer is 24 and 5 thousandths. And that's it. And I know it's easy. Thank you. This time, it is your turn to solve. We have three questions. The first one who can give the correct answer for each question will receive a prize. So, gear up and be ready with your pens. Do you have your pens with you already? Okay, are we all set? Say go if you are. Okay, we have the question number one. We will add or find the sum of two thousandths, nine and eight tenths, and four and seven hundred twenty-one thousandths. You can give your answer as soon as you're done. Don't forget to recheck. I'll be waiting for the correct answer. Do we have a winner? But the thing is, we have to wait for one more minute until we're done with this question number one. Then we will move on to the question number two. If you did not get it right, then we still have two more questions. And be ready to answer these questions. Are we all set for the second question? Say go! For the second question, we have to find the sum of 567 and 4 tenths, 7 tenths, and 2 thousandths. I'll be waiting for the correct answer. 
Go, go, go! By the way, don't forget to recheck! Do we have a winner? If you didn't get it right again, then we still have the last question. Be ready! And for the third question, we have here 120 hundredths plus 23 tenths is equal to what? I'll be waiting for the answer. Go, go, go! If you didn't get right in any of these questions, don't be sad because we still have many um, videos like this to learn and of course to win prizes. I just want you to know that everybody can learn mathematics and I would like to um, thank everyone who have supported me and of course my students, my classmates, my friends and my family who are there for me, especially in the time of recording and editing and everything. I just want also to thank my school where I'm connected because um, they're so very supportive and to my co-teachers, thank you for always there for me and supporting me in this YouTube channel. I hope that everybody can have like this experience because it's really nice and different from what we have in the face-to-face. -face. I wanted to thank also our dear God for giving me the strength in order to pursue this because I'm doing this for the kids. Who are learning remotely it's really difficult to learn mathematics now that they have to read and read knowing that math is not a reading subject according to my co-teachers so let's pursue and do this together because we have God like him by the way why am I giving speech like this it is because I am happy to announce that I reached 1,000 subscribers before the year ends. So I want to thank everybody. Thank you very much. My heart is overflowing with happiness because of this achievement. Thank you. That's why I'm giving gifts right now. Congratulations to our winners. You did a good job. See you next time. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time!